Jeff Molin from the Start 98.3 Afternoon Drive. I'm up in Kelowna this weekend with my good friend Pauline. How are you doing, Pauline? I'm good. Pauline is one of the most crafty people I know. So for Pinspiration, I figured I had to bring her in if I was visiting her. She has like every episode of Stephen and Chris saved on her PVR. It's true. She also has one of the best Pinterest pages I've ever seen. So she's going to help us out today on the uh, wine bottle lamp. Uh, you guys picked that one off of our Pinterest page. It's actually a rather difficult one the more that I'm looking into this. What you have to do is you take the wine bottle, we're going to drill a hole in it, and then you're going to have to feed all of these Christmas lights through. Plus, we're going to feed through an actual lamp. So it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. Uh, this is what it looked like on Pinterest. Uh, we have everything we need right here. Wine bottles, uh, backup wine bottle in case I break one. Chances are I probably will break one. You need to get some Christmas lights. Surprisingly hard to acquire in February. Who knew? Uh, you need a drill bit that's specifically used for cutting through glass and tile. Uh, I got a little lamp kit here, a drill. And the first thing we got to do is we actually have to drill through the bottle. So we're going to start that right now. Uh, make sure you use some safety goggles. It's a drill. It's glass. You want to make sure you're safe. Okay, so we've moved it outside since we're drilling. That's a beautiful clone of you, by the way. That's amazing. Thank you. I kind of want to move here. But I do love Chilliwack as well. Uh, so we're going to be drilling here. And because we're drilling through glass, you don't want it to get too hot. So, Pauline, I'm putting you on spray duty. We're just going to keep spraying the bottle as we do this, just so that the drill bit doesn't get too hot. That's just soap and water. Should be pretty easy. I'm on drilling details, so safety first. Going to put on some goggles. And then we just have to drill a hole right in the uh, side of the bottle at the bottom. We still have to make it a little bigger, but we're through after about, oh, about 10 minutes of drilling. We finally have a tiny little hole. You can zoom in on that little hole there. It's through just a little bit. We're going to go and make that obviously a full hole so that we can fit uh, the lights through. Okay, so when you get very near the end of your hole, you want to slow up with the drill. Otherwise, your drill goes all the way through the bottle and you end up with something like this. Luckily, we brought a second bottle, so we're going to try that now. was actually a lot of work. We've probably been drilling for about a half hour now. We finally got the hole all the way through, which means we can now start feeding our Christmas lights. And uh, here's hoping it fits. Okay, so now that we've drilled the hole through, it's a matter of doing the lighting. Uh, we've got the Christmas lights here. I also got a kit that you use to uh, make a lamp. Uh, with the Christmas lights, I mentioned that it was pretty hard to find Christmas lights in February. The only ones I could find had the plug on both ends. Plug isn't going to fit through that little hole, so I've cut it off. You can actually do that. Just took scissors, cut it off, and then just capped the ends. It'll still work, and it'll make it a lot easier to fit through the hole. That's what we got to do right now. Do you want to do it? Sure. There we go. got all of the lights into the uh, into the bottle. We've left a little bit because obviously you have to be able to plug it in. You can actually remove the lights if you don't want them, you know, hanging out of the bottle. Now it's a matter of doing the actual lamp part of the kit. Luckily, it comes with instructions. Follow the instructions that come with your lamp kit. It's not that hard. You just have to kind of go in order. Have it. It's the wine bottle lamp. I think it looks pretty darn good. 
Now, this isn't an easy pin by any means. I'd say, what do you think, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, very difficult. Uh, the drilling will take a lot of time. The uh, feeding it through takes a lot of time. We've probably been working at this for, what, an hour, hour and a half? Definitely. So uh, keep that in mind. Make sure you have a lot of time to do it. But I definitely think that's cool, especially if you have like a home bar or something. Wouldn't mm -hmm. that be like a cool accent piece? Beautiful. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's Pinspiration. I'm Jeff Molnar from Star 98.3. This is my good friend Pauline. Uh, you can find Star on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and of course Pinterest at 983 Star FM. Thanks for watching.